Unit 4, Lesson 2, The Roanoke Settlement. Only a few Europeans lived in North America in the 16th century. Most of them settled on the northeast coast. In 1587, a small group of about 100 people decided to go south. They moved to the small island of Roanoke. That area later became part of the state of North Carolina. Unfortunately, the Roanoke settlers weren't well prepared. They didn't have enough food for the winter, and there wasn't enough grain for future crops. Their leader, Captain White, decided to sail back to England to get supplies. However, there was a war in Europe, and three years passed before he returned to North America. When Captain White came back to Roanoke in 1590, he was eager to see the settlers. He looked out from his ship, but no one was there to meet him. There were no signs of life. The settlement was deserted. No one knows why the Roanoke settlers disappeared. Many people thought that hostile Native Americans killed them, but there were no signs of a fight. Some thought that the settlers died from hunger or disease, but they couldn't explain the absence of bodies. Many years later, more settlers came to North Carolina. One of them met a Native American group called the Lumbee. They were unusual looking compared to the black-haired, brown-eyed Native Americans in the North. Some Lumbee had blonde hair and gray eyes. Then he listened to their speech and almost fell off his horse. They seemed to speak an odd kind of English. He asked where they were from. None of them knew, but they said that their grandparents talked from a book. Did they mean that their grandparents were able to read? As he rode back home, he asked himself a question. Were the Lumbee people the descendants of the Roanoke settlers? People are still asking the identical question. Because there are no written records, we can't be certain. However, there is one interesting fact. Today, some of the Lumbee people have names like Samson, Dare, and Cooper. They are identical to the names of the vanished settlers of Roanoke Island.